Oh, the tape is Happy versus Hawk. And we got it on Last Refuge. Okay, Happy in the bottom left, Hawk in the top right. And Happy opening Ted Fiends, Fast Fiends that is. Hawk usually always goes for expansion. Hawk usually always goes for expansion here. Were you guys eating something too, you know? Guys, I hope you grab, grab something as well. Can't wait 20 minutes for finals to end. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. No, no, no nuggets today. Just a couple of dirty burgers. Nothing wrong with that. Happy's got this style of going straight across the map and, and putting on damage right away. And he's going to scout exactly what's going on. I would not be surprised if Hawk puts down four farms and, and goes. He's continuing to pump out peasants. So. Should be fine. And fa third farm so far, obviously. Happy. Continuing to macro up. Going to get the skeleton rod. And he will creep up a little bit before he goes. Dude, it's so weird how many people actually want, like, sound on when I'm eating. So weird. Like, obviously, I'm going to mute, guys. I'm not an animal. Claws of attack plus <laughs> five for happy, of course. Dude, he gets claws every game, man. The accolade scouting so far. The hawk is going to creep up and... Uh, is this a fake? Is this a fake? No, he needs more wood. He needs more wood. Oh, it's a little bit of a misclick there. He's creeping a bit, but he needs more wood before he can go for the expansion. Okay, now he gets the wood. And now we can go. There's the fourth farm. Happy's going to scout this. Bit of nerve setting in already for Hawk, but... Happy's actually going to creep up the priest. Is he going to coil it? Yep. Player's level two. Sentry wards, which is... Somewhat decent. Would have loved a replenishment, I think. But now Hawk's coming in happy with the Acolyte. Can he steal anything? He's going for that Forest Troll Trapper. Would be the only thing in range. But the Acolyte does go down. And Happy's not going to be able to steal anything. Skeleton Ron only two charges. What is Happy doing? You know, this is probably the, the most... Burgers for breakfast? It's 3.30 in the afternoon. This is probably the most space Hawks ever had with an expansion before. I'm pretty sure. Because Happy usually destroys them with just skeletons, but we haven't seen like a big commitment to that yet. Happy kind of giving him a lot of space. DK also taking a lot of damage. How's the weather in Boston? It's raining today, man. It's raining. It's going to rain. And Hawk, actually, with the good item luck. Look at this. Look at this Archmage. That's a strong mage. They want to hear you moan? Yeah, dude. People are so weird here. I love it. My kind of people, dude. My kind of people. Uh, you still have the plastic the straws here. It's made of cardboard. Yeah, this McDonald's a little out of date. Probably not uh, up to code. Because mostly everybody has the... Um, I don't know if it's cardboard or like bamboo or something. But it's something like that. Water elemental XP going to the DK coil as well on that footy. Nice hit. 
Gonna be able to get his Happy's just gonna creep this lab. This is a nutty creep. Not going for the priest though. Gotta go for the ogre but with no coil. This could be a weird decision and maybe possibly a good jack from Hawk. Water elemental. Oh my god, he got the last hit, but Happy gets the item one to the win. This is a great game from Hawk so far. This 20 minute series looking like at least a 32 minute series so far. Slaughterhouse being built from Happy. Happy's playing on the back foot the entire time. Expansion is up and safe. Shop is built. Defend being researched and the tech. And Lich comes out as well. Tier 3 tech for Happy. Trying to get any semblance of an advantage back. Level 3 DK would definitely do it. Pass the claws over to the Lich. Lich is going to come out with plus 5 for now. The problem with, with creeping out with both heroes is... Well, you share that XP. Scroll the beast. Passed over the Lich. It's a decent item, especially if he takes a fight. But now Hawk's going to have defend. He's going to have level 3 Archmage. Blacksmith coming in as well. Lots of towers at the expansion. I have to cough. And uh, it's great we stay in shape. In-game volume is very low. Yeah, it's very weird today, but uh, try to make it work. It's fine, though. It's better than no volume at all, which we've also had today. More fiends, more statues coming out. Water elemental getting picked off. Happy trying to chip away. He wants level three. A Nova on the footies could be really nice right now. There's the Nova. I would even offensive coil if you need to. There we go. He does. He wants the XP. Level 3 DK is so important here, especially with the uh, the harass in place. Another footy. There's the level 3 DK. And Happy is fully online now. Fully online. Hawk trying to make things work, though. Tier 2 is going to finish. Mountain King will come out. And Hawk can finally start to get the semblance of that tri-hero human state that you want to get into. Lich should probably creep all this up for level 2, but instead Happy knows what are the important things. He knows that, okay, this expansion has been up the whole time. Tier 2, very important. I need to take the important uh, creep camps. And one of them is the shop. Next one, probably the lab. Happy's best chance right now is to smother the human and take away all the creeping. But Hawk's not going to let him. Diving into the main base, Water Elemental. Going to tank that Nerubian. Tier 3 tech will finish though, so that's a second slow. And a big TP immediately from Happy. Oh, big TP. Staff. Hog. Tier 3 though. Cells could get the orb. Does get the orb on the Lich last minute. But now the Lich take a lot of damage. Where's that DK in range? DK will be in range last minute. Oh, maybe an offensive coil doesn't even need the defense with the frost armor. And the TP comes in. Well done. Good patience from, from Happy for sure. And Hawk trying to get some value. He did push Happy back. I would love to see Hawk maybe go creep that. Workshop's being built. Tier 3 tech halfway done. We know what's coming out after that. Double workshop with the racks. We all know what it is. It's Night Gyro, baby. Night Flying Machine. How does Happy deal with this? I mean, I'm not going to lie. He's got a pretty good fiend count. Five fiends so far. Pitlord third is obviously very good to mitigate that damage. And the creep jack. Happy knows. I need to stay in his face. I need to keep the pressure on this one workshop. Not going to go up thanks to that lich. Focus fire. That's definitely a cancel. And a dead peasant. Nova. On a bunch of these footies, the defend kicked in a bit late. So two of these bad boys are about to go down. And Happy going to steal the big summons of this camp. Ha Hawk needs to hold on. He still needs at least some knights. Still needs tier 3. Tier 3 still late. No knights. No paladins. The perfect window for Happy. As you know, it normally is. Rune Bracers is a banger item. Especially with the bolts, the uh, Holy Light. Hawk buying more time. More flying machines coming in. That second workshop getting power built like it's nobody's business. Every every single peasant's on that bad boy. Rain of Fire being used for now. Nova could clump up on a bunch of these peasants that are repairing. Happy's just sieging right now. Just happy things. Statues in the back. Nova. Nova on a bunch of the peasants. Yep. Great job. Oh, man. The Rain of Fire. Oh, man. The Rain of Fire. 
the reign of fire. This is a really tough fight for Hawk. Everything's here now. Happy's starting to like farm up these uh, hero levels. I would love to see the scroll of the beast maybe used to finish off the rest of these towers if he wants. Oh, the rune braces the mountain king. Look how fast he's gonna fall if you target him. Happy just needs to target him. He's going for the shop right now. He's going for the shop. He already got the orb and the staff though. And that means tier three knights on the way. Rain of fire again on the peasants. It's all gravy train for Happy so far. Oh, another rain of fire. Nice coil frost armor for now. That orb is very good at mitigating that coil. Look, you don't get the full heal. You lose 33%. Maybe 35%. I'm not too sure. 35 that's a big deal. One knight gets obliterated. The Mountain King also takes a big chunk of that damage in the statues. They're, I mean, they got tons of mana, so Happy's just happy to sit here. <laughs> Pun intended. Paladin needs to come out, though. More and more knights being rallied in. I would love to see Hawk maybe just chill. Continue to mine, continue to repair, and just kind of chill. He's only rallying, like, one knight at a time, and Happy can deal with this. It's the big clump that he needs to deal with. Please pause, says Happy. As he turns off the Back to Warcraft stream, he doesn't want any more of my coaching. Alright, here we go. This is a tough uh, place, but you know what? Finally, a little bit of breathing room for Hawk, and he's on Tier 3. He can start to mass up a ton of these units. Sitting at 49 supply, I think the idea right now is to bank. You've already held so much. I'd love to see maybe something else block this Sim City a little bit. Oh, web on some of these fly machines. Very close. And yet another big camp going to go to Happy, and there's not much you can really do if you're Hawk. Although I do like what he's doing. Solo creeping these low-level heroes. With a camp that you can take, and, and that could be the Lab Shop Red. As Happy goes for this red, he does pick up Medallion of Courage on that Lich. That Lich is hitting like a truck plus 20. Always good items for Happy. Archmage going to pull the Shop Camp. You know what? Now that the Ogre's not here, maybe this camp's not even worth it anymore, but he's going to just creep. Anything's worth it. Book of the Dead being picked up at the Lab as well. Animal War Training. Some more Breakers coming in with Knights. More flying machines being built. Actually, he hasn't committed too, too much to the flying machines, but there hasn't been the destroyers either. It's mostly just been the fiends. Tower going to do some damage to the fiend, but the coil comes in, and this is a full mana DK. And now Hawk's going to spend a majority of this uh, game so far rebuilding peasants. Fiends. Getting targeted right now. The Bolt comes in on one Fiend, and that's level 2 on the Paladin, level 2 on the Mountain King. And now a big camp. Big camp going to Hawk. Big camp going to Hawk. These Knights are super tanky. He's getting closer closer to 3-3. Three, three. He wants to... Okay, he doesn't want to bank anymore. Some more Knights coming out, some more Breakers. And Happy's going to go over to the Merc camp and just continue to creep 4-3-3. Three, three. I mean, these hero levels are getting kind of ridiculous for the Undead, right? This is uh, a little bit insane. Still has that scroll of the beast as well. And a, a second room braces. Are you kidding me? Well, the heroes aren't dying. That's for sure. The heroes are not, aren't dying. That's a guarantee. What did he get from this camp? Plus plus nine. Okay, the Archmage is also very, very strong. Plus 26 Archmage. Banshees now coming into play. Master training Banshees as well. And he's pumping them out. We know what Happy wants to do in the late game. He wants to possess these knights. All your base belong to us. 4-4-3. Four, four, and maybe both reds going to happy? This is a tough fight for, for Hawk. His army is really small, and it's not really composed of anything. I mean, there's no priest, nothing like that. Another knight in the base. A couple breakers, but... All of this is kind of susceptible to these banshees. Although the mana for these banshees is quite, quite low. Very tough position, and the hero positioning for Happy has been scrumdiddlyumptious, if I may say so myself. Another claws over that Lich. 
And at this point, he's got level 2 Reign of Fire, actually. I was going to say level 2 Cleave. You might as well just pass the claws over to the Pet Lord, but not going to be the case. And the second red going to Happy. This was such an important red camp for Hawk to take. And if you're creeping the lab and then the shop and then going across being aggressive, I do wonder if maybe that was a misplay not going for this red camp because now Happy's going to get it. The item, Helm of Valor. Not the greatest item, but you know what? More tanky on this on maybe that Pit Lord or the DK if he wants. And now you're cutting into this undead gauntlet. Could see some possessions come in. A little bit out of range. We haven't seen any be used yet. Banshee's not really in a good position, but the Breaker's taking a big chunk of this damage. Hawk's actually getting value for now. Knight's trying to get on top. The Banshees are all very low. One possession comes in. Is there any way to stop it? I don't think... Oh, nice! I don't even know how uh, he, he bolted. Bolted the Banshee seeing that last minute Hawk. This is a good fight for him now. No possession. These Banshees have been quite useless. And the un uh, human heroes are starting to have a little bit of a better play. And this Book of the Dead also helping. But now some of the Breakers are starting to fall. And a little bit too much of a chase on these Banshees, I must say. You probably want to go for the Fiends. I mean, Knights, very good against Fiends. Giving a bit too much respect to these Banshees. Another Bolt, another Holy Light on the Banshee. Level 4 in the Archmage. But the rest of this Red Camp definitely secured by the Undead player. Can't believe Happy's been able to do all this on one base. I mean, usually you just fall Players apart when the human player has the expansion for this long. The macro's insane, but Happy has been able to break so confidently. The good thing for Hawk is he's even on supply and he's got this bank, right? Because he's had this uh, expansion for so long. Oh, man. 4-3-3 is going to be nuts. 4-3-3 is going to be nuts. Can he get it, though? Can he get it, though? This turtle camp is available. Level 5 DK, by the way. And Happy's going to take the red camp. Hawk's going to go home. An advantageous fight, though. I really like that fight. I would have loved to see the Knights a bit more on the Fiends. But uh, overall, not bad at all. Not bad at all. This Lich is so close to level 5 as well. Tome of Agility and Claws plus 9 again. Oh, my God. There's 4... Seven claws in this game. Two plus nine. Four plus five. Guys. What's going on? Hawk trying to bring in some casters now. A couple sorks just for some slow. Maybe he can get some long range mortar teams as well. Hawk's going for this late game army now. The upgrades on the knights are amazing as well. Plus two two upgrades. Only 2-1 on the Fiends, but the Anti-Magic Shell is insane. And a lot of the Banshees use up all their mana for Anti-Magic Shell. So no possessions in this fight. And Hawk's going to be defending in his base. This could be an advantageous position. Mountain King, Paladin, Watt, level 3. Very, very badly. Pitlord does soak up a lot of damage. He's got that Invuln Pot, though. Hawk needs to get on top of this. Level 5 on the Lich now. That's a big, big level up. The Nova on the Knights is going to be pretty insane, and it is insane as well. A, a Fiend might go down. Happy not with the Coil. But he's trading Fiends for, for Knights, and this is this is definitely advantageous for maybe Hawk. Level 3 on the Mountain King now. 60, 57 supply against 63. The even, uh, supplies are evening up, but it's only mostly Banshees now in this fight. I think the longer this game goes, or the longer this fight goes, rather, I think Hawk's in an advantageous position. Nuke on the Archmage. Invul Pot. Hawk's playing out of his mind right now, guys. This is a crazy fight. Hawk's actually chipping away. 3-3 three, three on the heroes. The heroes are surviving, and there's not many units for ha uh, Happy. I mean, it's still 60 supply. The Mountain King might fall. I got I got my own hopes up there, guys. I, 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 I tried. I mean, what are you going to do, you know? What are you going to do? one nothing. I tried. I thought it was a good fight. Uh, one nothing for Happy. In the top left of Tidehunters, we do have Hawk. In the bottom right, we do have Happy. Guys, I'm allowed to have uh, delicious food sometimes, man. You gotta have a balance. Alright. I'm living my best life, boys. Alright. 
we are ready to go. I hope you guys are ready to go. Archmage again, DK, same opener. I mean, Happy's probably going to open Ted Feeds the entire series. Likewise with Hawk uh, opening up expansion, especially if this map pool stays like this. It should be uh, relatively common. Hawk loves expansion first. I mean, it's it's crazy. He doesn't play one base against Undead. Dude, it's crazy how many people are like so pissed I'm eating a burger. Really, dude? I can eat whatever I want. You guys are being weird. I could eat an entire extra large pizza right now. And that's totally fine. I'm living my best life. Archmage going to creep up. Happy coming straight across this time. Acolyte going to scout as well. And we do see more and more peasants being pumped out. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that a Hawk commits to another expansion. There's no doubt in my mind. Skeleton's going to go for the turtle and Happy goes straight across with a, at least a bit of XP this time. Oh, did you guys hear that? The game sound just got really loud. Weird. It's like cutting in and out. It's kind of it's kind of weird. DK? You guys definitely can't complain about the game sound now. It's super loud. Okay, Happy looking for some last hits. Gets in coil range. Oh, doesn't get the priest, but he does get the cheese from the bread. That's the main purple guy. Circle of ability picked up by the Archmage as well. Ooh, another big steal. That's level two. And Hawk, yeah. He's going to go for the expansion uh, again. Tech, pretty good for Happy. Would love to see that fiend rallying across. There it is. Okay, another peasant. Getting right clicked. Oh yeah, Happy's getting the same value. This is the type of value that Happy usually gets on this uh, on the, in this situation. Last game, expansion went up for free, and Hawk still lost. This game, not so much. Not the so mucho. Okay, DK. Oh, DK with a cute possible surround from Hawk, but not gonna happen. More skeletons come in. And I don't think there's backpack. No backpack, but I'd love to see a second round. Ooh, DK getting a little low, but the aura going to chase that. Hawk threatening a surround as well. Beauty. Go get a burger, guys. Use your coin base stocks. Stocks? Stonks? Get yourself a nice dirty burger. Treat yourself, guys, man. You got to treat yourself. If You, you got you to gotta love what you do, you know? Gotta love you as well. Sometimes you just want a dirty burger. Today was a dirty burger type day. Okay, DK gonna pull this one camp. Get him very close to level 3. Won't give him level 3 though. Actually. Maybe with the XP boost it might. Tier 2 XP? No. Not gonna work. EU Extra Large or American Extra Large? American, obviously. Archmage. Getting the big camp, though. This is a huge amount of XP for this Archmage. Very close to level 3 now. In fact, he's going to get it off this camp. Boom. That is so crazy how much XP you get from that camp in the mid of the shop. Because it's not even hard to creep. More skeletons. Hawk. Trying to come across. The tech should be in momentarily. Waiting for a bit more wood shopping built as well. And Happy does get the item circlet. Bunch of these fiends getting chased down though. Hawk threatening surrounds on the tree line. Oh, he's botching these surrounds, man. He's going for a little bit too cutesy. Coil comes in and he's not going to be able to get it. Now a bunch of these footies are taking some serious damage. I don't think Hawk has defend though. He definitely does not. And now the Lich is coming in. This is not an advantageous fight. For Hawk, although he's still chipping away and doing damage before the statues come in. That's the last coil as well. Where's the Archmage? Archmage dropping back around. There we go. 
Oh, this could be good. But of course, Happy gets level three. Still loses a Fiend. That's a big pickoff. And now Happy's level two coil will kick in. Archmage needs to be careful. Might see a offensive coil, but I'm not too sure. Fakes it, actually. Tree line. Double fake. Wow, that's two vision uh, snipes from Hawk. That's pretty amazing. Statue going to come in tier three tech. On the way, let's look at Hawks. Macro, Lumber Mill, Blacksmith, Double Towers. Everything's looking pretty sweet. Defend as well, but there's not many footies left. Only two. Two? I don't know how to do just two. Okay, there's four. Shot says, I want Bidu to call me a dirty burger. Shots, you're a... You are a dirty burger, Shots. Oh, nope on the Arc Mage. Oh my god, Force TB. Could be Force the TB here. The coin comes in, Hawk. You have three ping. Surround on the water metal uh, elemental as well. Sorry, can't speak. Statue blocking the water metal. And that's a big chunk of XP of that Lich. Very close level two. Arc Mage gets Tav Rezzed, which is not where you want to use the allocation of your newfound gold. Another statue, uh, tower about to be cancelled. The Fiends finding a heyday right now to cancel at least two more. Oh, the Lich. No, no way. The level up. Coil Nova. GG. Oh my god, that level up. Oh my god, that level up, dude. What a nuke. Fast uh, DK again for Happy. Ten Fiends. Hawk's going to try again. And if at first you don't succeed... And if at first 17 attempts you don't succeed, try it again. You got to uh, you got to admire it. Got to admire game number three. Hawk looking for a comeback, looking to defend his title, but happy really looking like, dude, you only won because I off race last week. And that's it. Hawk's going to go for an expansion again, guys. It's... It's just the way it is. I like this build. I like this build. I like tucking the graveyard over here. Shop down here. Sl uh, slaughterhouse can come here and it's just really nice. Zig, zig, zigs. The zig could block this window here. Full blaze block. I think zig. Zig. It's really nice. Archmage trying to right-click at least the Accolade for now, but he will start creeping. And so far, so good. Claws of Attack. DK also going for the Purge. Anti-Purge, he does get the last hit. That foot, he could have definitely stole that. That was very dicey for Happy, but Hawk, not on it. Oh, it's kind of awkward, but you know what? Actually working out the skeleton, soaking up a bunch of that XP, and uh, Happy's going to de-aggro as he techs. Fiend coming up with a ziggurat as well. Item of choice, Claws of Attack. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. You think it's an undead thing? I have really good item RNG as well. I'm really not sure. He just always gets Claws. At the Vitality Archmage not getting the, the best items here, but he's at least going to creep this up no problem. DK not in his face, so the expansion will go up kind of scot-free. Hawk likes to put the uh, the Town Hall right here close to the trees. Tower's in the back. It's a nice play. It's a good way to stay in shape. Early Nerubian as well. Hawk is or Happy's totally anticipating that you're going to get the expansion and possibly come back for some uh, counterattack. Yeah, Hug Tree Lion expansion. Hawk as well getting closer and closer and closer to level 3. By circlet from the marketplace does happy. And DK. Charge almost up. There's the skellies. One more peasant about to fall. DK is very, very low level uh, 2 though, so... Nothing crazy right now. Just some good harass. Coil comes in again. No arcane to stop this. This will be at least two more offensive coils. DK not even taking a lot of damage either. 
but no skelly rod so happy's gonna back off second fiend on the way about to be a third soon tier two and happy's across the map he could go for a lich obviously i don't see a tavern uh hero being built anytime soon in this matchup it's not even viable i mean even panda's not going to be not going to be it not too bad for hawk to be honest footy count looks pretty healthy there's a sixth about to be a seventh defend could come in as well after that it's really only going to be three fiends uh for a while because the lich is going to come out with the tech with the slaughterhouse so that's pretty much the gist of it. Parents are pissed, but the kids love it. Archmage, level 3, going straight to the main base now. Replenishment Potion. Ooh, slow in the Illusion Archmage. It's going to be Pog Champ for Hawk. And double counter attack right now. Two Fiends in the main expansion and Hawk in the main base of Happy. That's going to be a uh, cancel Slaughterhouse. Actually, really good value from Hawk here. DK trying to look for value as well. Can he cancel the Arcane? No way. I think the Arcane's going to live. This is good for Hawk. This is really good for Hawk. Another ghoul going down. Happy. Slip it a bit. Arcane's going to definitely go down. The ghouls are dead. There's only one. Okay, there's two left. But maybe the water mentals can get this one too. Happy. Microing a bit. Archmage being super defensive right now. Possibly an Acolyte too. Is Happy going to see it? He does. He micros it back. And Happy's attacking on two fronts right now. This is super hard to follow. Only one Acolyte and the, the ghoul getting attacked. And Arcane gets up. And Happy's still going to poke. He's going to poke and prod with these fiends. Pulling back. Ac Acolyte's still going to live. He didn't lose any more units for now. Water Elemental coming in as well. And Archmage going to back off. Uses Replenishment Potion. He's going to run back. And Defend just starts being built. The shop is not going to make it up. Archmage sitting outside the base. Oh, Happy's going to see the Archmage with the clarity. Could stop it. He does. No defend just yet. No level 2 coil either. So even though he's using those coils, it's a bit... Akos Tacos. Lich. Coming into the mix. This Nova is going to help out so much, by the way. Lich, Nova. Oh, the Nova could be just used on the footies. It could be used on the peasants. Oh, that's nuts. And Skelly Rod on the DK as well. Happy keeping the aggression on. Happy keeping the aggression on. Slaughterhouse finally gets back up. That's going to be the first uh, statue, which I think Hawk's going to be very happy that he canceled because it's a lot more delayed. Kind of awkward for Hawk. He needs to fix his uh, unit composition. The Archmage... Should be right-clicking from the back, but he's not in range. And defend should be done. Defend is done. Oh. Fiend getting low. Archmage getting super low. Happy doesn't have any mana, though. How can it go back? Continuing to cancel the shop, which is quite annoying. I can't believe Happy stuck around and, and is getting value. I mean, another footy might possibly go down. Oh, this fiend's getting chased across the map. Statue AFK in the main base. Happy, this doesn't happen. Let's take a minute to admire. Okay, it finally moves. No mana is a problem for Happy. Slowly getting chipped away. The Archmage getting very, very low. But no mana pot or anything crazy like that. So Blacksmith going to wall this off. The shop also going to be built in this footy count for Hawk. is very, very healthy. Very healthy indeed. Oh, Archmage. Right click in the Lich. But the Lich is able to wiggle out. That was also very, very tough. And finally, the Archmage can heal up at least the army and the Archmage and everything else. So... Pretty minimal losses, I have to say. What's the tech looking like for, for Hawk? I mean, he's halfway to tier 3. Oh my god. Players forces are under attack. Is this it? Is this it, boys? 
and girls. Wanda mana stealing. Happy's very low. Not level 3 yet. Archmage coming back across. And the Mountain King solo creeping with nothing but free time. Is this it? I don't even remember the last time Hawk took a map off of Happy. But the tech timing is telling a different story. Second double racks as well. Double workshop. Hawk knows exactly what's up. He sees the tier 3 come in. Lich. About to grab that orb. Wants to keep that one of mana stealing though. That's a very good item. Mount King already level 2 guys. Oh my god. He's going to solo creep this as well for close to level 3. Tier 3 is about to finish. Paladin coming out. Double knights. Double gyro. Oh! Is this it dude? Lich about to solo creep. Probably get level 3. Now he's got the orb. So Happy can start to take fights. And just a ton of statues. Item drop from the marketplace is could be good. Ankh is decent, not crazy. Just sells it straight up. Buy, buy his claws for the Lich. Why not? Sells the one of mana stealing as well. Why not? Try it out. Plus 20 Lich already. Mount King is pretty much going to hit three before the Paladin comes out. This is pretty much the best case scenario for Hawk. I got to say. I'm getting fired up. Oh, I'm getting fired up. Level 3 for the Mountain King. Pitlord comes in and this could be... Okay, well, this is not good. All right, anticlimactic. Did I just jinx that? Bunch of footies go down. Like 15 footies. And now, Happy's got that strong army. Composition. A bunch of flying machines popped right away. He's not messing around. Paladin is about to come out. How many flying machines do we have? Web being researched, which is good. So now Hawk can start to at least rally some of these flying machines. But Shop's going to go down and Happy's just going to actually dive straight ahead. Oh, the rain of fire with the Nova. All these peasants are going to go down. Happy's so good, man. I just like taking advantage of the timing window he does. He sees the opportunities, but a fiend about to go down. Ooh, nope. Now it is. Paladin comes into the mix, though, and look at... Wait, what? That was a rain of fire on his own units. Happy helping out Hawk. Flying machines do kill one destroyer. I think this is it. TP. TP out from Happy. And Hawk's got a supply lead. He kind of... he, I mean, he kind of holds. Six peasants. More flying machines. More knights. The upgrades are also not bad. One armor for the knights. And now we can creep something big. Now we can creep something really big. Guys. What a game. What a game. Happy. Now he's got his composition, though. He could definitely start creeping. There's level 3 on the Lich, level 2 on the Pit Lord. And that's been, like, the biggest thing for Happy is his ability to just creep high levels without, like, any provocation whatsoever because Hawk just is so anxious to just creep himself that he doesn't really look for creep jacks. Flying machines being rallied in again, again, again. He's got five flying machines, which is good. Not a lot of knights on the ground, though. In fact... Just two. He's going to have to rely on these bolts. One bolt comes in. Frost armor and... Or being used on another. Oh, but... Oh. Paladin getting you down, but a one fiend getting it traded out. Hawk. So far, the trades are pretty good. A Mountain King. Stunning at least one of the fiend statues trying to heal up. But the orb is going to slow down that coil for now. One more coil locked up, and it does get used. Mountain King gets out of the fight for now. Hawk just trying to chip away. The red camp still not crept. Staff on cooldown for the Archmage as well. Doesn't want to lose that knight. Everything's looking pretty good for Hawk. He's really buying his time slot. Oh, skeletons in the main expansion. Uncontested. 47 supply for Hawk. He's got tons of gold. Not a lot of wood. He breaks up keep again. 57 supply. He's going to go for it. 43 for Happy though. I got to say, these are pretty good trades from Hawk. Killing like one fiend here or there for a staff knight. I'm getting excited. Staff. Might have to be used on the knight. The Mountain King does get out of range. Beautifully done from, from Hawk. So we're going to lose two flying machines for this. But you know what? The flying machines have already paid their way. No destroyers will hit the air for sure. Because there's way too much commitment to the air for, for Hawk. Bolt on the DK this time. And Hawk just wants a little bit of a breather. He's okay with giving up this red camp now. Because he knows that he's breaking. And he's in a great position. Hawk just needs to gather everything up. I would love to see these two more knights come into the play, and that's what we see. Two more knights being popped out. Oh my god, Hawk's really going for it. 63 supply. Oh my god, 48 supply for Happy. Happy's trying to bank it. He's trying to creep up, and he's he's doing a good job. I mean, the Pit Lord's going to get level 3. This item, if it's Cadgar's Pipe, I'm going to scream. 
Oh my god, that was so close. It's still an intelligence item, but... I'm on the edge of my seat right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I've been waiting for Hawk to beat Happy for so long. We've all been waiting for it. We all want to see it. I got the chills. Upgrades now. Starting to be 1-1. One, one. Paladin starting to creep up as well. Mountain King getting close to level 4 now. What's that item? Belt of Giant Strength. A great item for that Mountain King. 1,000 HP. Flying Machines kind of useless at this point. And now the Banshees come into play. And I, I really do want to see these Knights get on top of these Fiends. There's a lot of Knights, guys. There's 6 Knights. And the hero levels are nothing to be uh, nothing to, to fret about. What's the expression? Nothing to roll your eyes about. Hawk is so worried about what's what Happy's doing. He can't fathom that he's actually ahead this uh, this uh, this much in this game. But he's I mean you know Happy's really starting to macro. Master form banshees. He wants to scout the expansion, but it's not there. He's gonna creep it up anyway. Great item, by the way. Possibly. I would love to see him solo creep with this paladin, but he wants level 4 Mountain King as well. Ring of Protection, that's a that's not a good item. Archmage a little bit exposed. Could see a nuke early, but the creep camp is just getting destroyed by these knights. And Hawk again looking for a good position. Webs getting baited out. Flying Machines at this point just buffer, just in the way. That's all that Hawk wants. Just get these Flying Machines in the way as I just swarm him with the knights. One more fiend about to drop the, all these units for Happy. So important. The Reign of Fire actually doing more damage to the ghouls than, than not. And... Master form banshees, but they have absolutely no mana. Could see a holy light on these banshees just to take them down. But the the knights are doing a lot of chasing, but I don't see a lot of attack moving. And Happy's buying a little bit more time. One knight does fall, but another fiend goes down. Level four in the Mountain King now. Hawk, 58 supply against 58 supply. Happy's microing like a god, and for some reason not trading evenly. Statues in the back healing, and uh, Hawk's kind of getting picked apart now. More and more knights getting dropped. More and more fiends dying. By this point, the hero levels are just insane, and the Pit Lord is looking really, really strong. Another Banshee goes down, and that's the one with the most amount of uh, mana. Mountain King taking a little bit of damage for that Paladin over at the main base. Going to finally walk back over, but a TP's past the Mountain King, and Hawk gets out. But those were good trades for Happy. It's incredible how he wins these fights. Although Hawk was doing a lot of chasing there. A lot of chasing. And again, the story is probably going to be these hero levels. Happy, looking for level 5 DK. Paladin needs level 3. I would just go straight to the red camp. And he's going to, but it's going to be a huge jack. He doesn't have... Oh, that crazy army that he had before. Flying machines haven't paid off since, you know, they killed the initial destroyers. 1-1 one, one upgrades as well. I think the upgrades are the same. Uh-oh. No, no upgrades for these fiends. Actually looks like a good position for Hawk, probably. But the Lich has tons of mana, so does the DK. And now the Banshees are starting to get up there too. At least two of them with uh, possible possession. These knights need to be careful. Bolts, probably going to have to be used defensively. Oh, he's actually chipping away. Possibly staff on the Paladin. I don't think you want to get in range. Oh my god, the coil. Happy doesn't commit. Going for the second red camp and he's going to get it. Oh, Happy's so good at wedging this away. Cloak of Flames, that's a horrible item. And a second expansion for Hawk. Hawk's just ballsy, man. There's no way Happy scouts this. Not anytime soon. More and more Banshees coming out. I love Happy's transition to Banshees because the curse has been really good. Anti-Magic Shell, obviously incredible. And then there's always that threat for possession, which forces a bolt. But you can only do one. So if you get on top, you start to change. The one, like... Two good possessions will change the swing of this fight, and, and Hawk will lose. 67 supply, though, 64. It's very, very close. Now Happy's going to fight at the expansion. Paladin's still getting healed up at the main base. He's not in this fight just yet. And Hawk's going to always be not trying to dive in. Although he's soaking up a lot of damage. Possible coil on the Banshee, but now a bunch of knights are getting taken. Oh, no. Three knights get taken. And just like that, 49 supply against 70. Happy did it. Oh, wow. Mountain King dead. Archmage dead. Hawk just probably frowning in his chair. Well, there it is. There it is. 3-0. 
well done to happy of course it was a, it was a great series it's probably the closest series we've seen in a while uh, i'm not too sure how long it lasted but uh well played to both i gotta say hawks getting a little bit more composed in this matchup looking a little bit more confident uh but happy is just uh just incredible what a turnaround there i really thought that hawk was getting it but uh you know it just wasn't meant to be and then happy wins another one Now what? Now what do we do?